that 4.6, the carbon dating example, is it's a radioactive element carbon-14 has a half-life of 5050. So let's take that bit of information first to come up with our exponential decay function. So I'm going to move down here so I can show you some information. Okay, there we go. If you recall, half-life represents the number, the time it takes in years for it to, to decay to half the original amount. Okay, so if we take a look at our example here, it tells us in 5,500, 5,050 years, it decays to half the original amount. So if the original amount is P0, it would be half of P0. And I replace time with 5,050, the negative half of the equation. I'm going to go ahead and solve this. First thing I want to do is divide both sides by P0 to try to get this by itself. So I go ahead and do that first. And this is what I'm left with. Now I'm going to take the natural log of each side. Take the natural log of 0.5, the natural log of e to the negative 5,750k, which simplifies to be negative 5,750k. If I'm going to continue to solve for k, I divide both sides by negative 5,750, and if and I get 0 0.00012 if I round. So my exponential function becomes the following. Okay, here's my original exponential function. I'm going to replace k with the amount that I just found there. Okay, so this, that's my exponential function. Now let's go to the second part of the question here. Let me resum this first here. Okay, let's go to the second part now, the, the example. It says if a piece of charcoal has lost 7.3% of its original amount, okay, so if it's lost 7.3%, that means 92.7% of the original amount is present. It says, um, how, wh how could the age of the charcoal be determined? Okay, so we're going to actually try to estimate the age. Okay, so we know that it has 92.7% of the, its original amount, so we replace that with the amount that we have at the time. It's equal to our exponential function that we just found a second ago. And what we want to do is we want to solve for t. We want to solve for time to see how old it is. So the first thing I do is divide both sides by p of 0. Now I take the natural log of each side. The right-hand side simplifies to be negative 0.00012t. Then I divide both sides by this number so I can solve for t. And when I plug in my calculator, I get approximately 632 years. So the charcoal is about 632 years old.